And I've been looking at um, the stockpiles of food uh, in our country, and of course, um, with the financial problems and all of the available capital going to um, to Goldman Sachs and and J.P. Morgan and the like. Uh, very little money was making it into the hands of, uh, of Midwestern local banks to loan money to farmers to plant. And so many of these farmers left a lot of their fields fallow. And uh, the, the subsequent problems that created were things like no, no uh, grains in the silos, uh, no reserve in anybody's um, um, uh, warehouses, and America's uh, food reserve being at the lowest level it's been in, in, since they were record ca- has, have been kept. On top of that, uh, some of the worst winter uh, weather ever seen in the United States. The records are being broken almost daily uh, with uh, snowfall and, and freeze and the rest. Uh, uh, so what I'm alluding to here is that um, America being on a knife edge financially and being on a knife edge in its food supply, um, when the dollar tumbles, and uh, that can happen whenever they feel like pulling the plug because, of course, they're they're holding the levers, um, what will happen is um, hard currency is needed and there was an example of this when when the russian implosion happened jennifer uh, back in the in the 20s and 30s russia needed hard currency so what they did is they took their breadbasket region which was the ukraine and uh, they created uh, stalin did created one of the great famines of of uh, of human history where uh, where millions and millions of ukrainian farmers starved sitting on top of some of the most fertile land in the world because everything that these farms were producing uh, were, were being exported for hard currency because their currency had taken such a knock. Well, uh, America is in, a, in a, almost an identical situation as the Russians were because their, their currency is under threat. And when hard currency is going to be needed for, for um, operation of government, they're certainly going to go get it from whatever they can export. And the only thing America produces anymore is farm goods. So my point is, is that... Uh, they will take that out of the mouths of the Americans, I'm certain. So I'm wondering, um, I've been trying to get people to wrap their brains around the idea that having a three-month supply of food, while, um, it, it, you know, it, it seems to be maybe a, an exaggeration of need, it certainly isn't when you, when you figure a lot of people are not going to be prepared at all. So to have that uh, and, and, send, and have three-quarters of the people having nothing and you having the three months, you might, you might end up with a weak supply for a few people. I don't know. What's your take on, on the importance of having a food supply in, in these times? Well, it's survival. Yeah. And obviously, um, you know, it's a prudent thing to do. Uh, it's historically something people have always done. You know, that was the rhythm of life that you – you put away food stores, you know, and you got yourself through six months of, of winter. Um, you know, the the further we've been pulled away from traditional kinds of activities, the more vulnerable we've become yes. in so many ways. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, my whole approach to investigating here is looking at the biological program. That's what interests me. Uh, not just bioweapons, things like anthrax, but looking at a bigger picture of when this started, you know, how how we got into a, um, a situation where we became dependent on a medical system, um, you know, and, and, and just bringing it up through time, looking at polio. Polio was a, a, a disease caused by radiation and chemicals, and we've all been fooled into believing that this is a contagious viral illness, and it is not. Um, they they have not proved that. And uh, you know we're we're just seeing this the same propaganda come down that's been coming down for a hundred years. Uh, and you know uh, it, it, uh, we've been shaken off of of what connects us to life. You know what's solid in our lives, which is the natural cycle of the earth, farming weather, uh, these things are all being interfered with and manipulated, and we're just being forced onto these dependencies on systems of, of money and uh, commercial dependence, um, you know, it, and it's it's pretty much at the stage where I think they've got us, you know, we're, we're extremely vulnerable to all of this. Um, yep. We've had generations of people now 
getting medical treatment where they've been seeded with things like disease. When you give populations uh, inoculations, uh, when you expose them to uh, radiation from uh, atmospheric testing and then right in the very technologies which are then put out into the world, um, you have people who are uh, too sensitive. Um, you know, they, they, they no longer really fit in their own environments. You know, the environment itself has become polluted. So, you know, it, it all has been channeled into this whole global warming program, um, you know, where people will uh, look at themselves as being the cause of all these problems. But in fact, it's what's been driving these industries for all this time. They've been the ones that have needed all the energy. They're the ones that are producing the chemicals that pollute the earth. Uh, you know, we just have to reassess the, the whole situation of, of what we really need uh, to survive. Well, I've been recommending people, um, you know, get a, a dry goods store of rices and beans and, and so forth. And, you know, um, and, and seasonings and salts and things of this nature, just uh, things that, that aren't terribly expensive. Uh, this is some things that people can do. And, and, and to look upon these stores as an insurance policy, you know, when, when you go driving out with your vehicle onto the roads, you're required to have insurance. Well, that insurance is, of course, for uh, in the event of, of a problem. And uh, you may not have an accident for 10 years or 20 years or ever. But, um, but the fact is you're required to have it because... Uh, it's it's just prudent and good thinking. Now, um, people need to look at the food uh, that that these food stores, especially of the dry goods like beans and rices and so forth, and pastas, as as being that kind of investment. You know, pasta can last for a hundred years and still be edible, uh, and rices can last for a, a quite a long time. And even after it starts turning, it's still uh, you can still eat it. Uh, as long as it's not whole grain rice where there's still oils, because the, if the oils go rancid, then you've got a problem. But, I mean, the points I'm trying to make here uh, is that um, these things, you know, you may not be eating um, a gourmet meal, but you'd certainly have enough to sustain you in a, in a difficult period. And it's an insurance policy I think everybody needs to consider, and I, and I recommend three months of it. And uh, if you do that, and, and many others like you do it, um, when the hammer comes down or when, when the problems really erupt, um, we're going to have better choices that we can make. So... Um, you know, these are just uh, these are the ideas that uh, that I think everybody should entertain, and and so I don't know if you agree with that, but I agree with that. Sure, you know, I I think that um, you know we we should consider that this is a temporary situation, and uh, I I think the the will of people at this point. Um, is to get through it, and certainly what the truth movement is is bringing to the fore is the fact that we have uh, we have a system that's been hijacked, and people have to decide, you know, how to how to participate. You know that they need to participate. Um, we don't have the luxury of of having simple lives anymore at this point. You know, unless we want to be completely submissive to the systems that would. Uh, control us completely but um, you know the knife edge that we're really on I believe is what can be done technologically now you know uh, they have very high tech ways of controlling us and very low tech ways and yeah. the, the low tech ways work just as well yeah. things like vaccines you know um, weather control they've been able to do this for a long time 